Mr. Bowers, Schoology class, coming to you live from the classroom. It is November. Hope y'all didn't go get, get eat too much candy when you went trick or treating or trunk or treating or whatever you did. But it is November the second. The school year is flying by, and with that, guess what? This is exciting news. November brings us back to, that's right, math. Nothing's changed. It's just another month. So get your warm-up notebook out. One question today, puzzle math. Um, I've talked to a lot of you all, and yes, you agree. This is the easiest thing we've done yet. So um, who doesn't like to do a puzzle, right? So get this written down. If A equals 2. B equals negative 4. They want us to solve this problem. It's an ugly looking problem, but it won't be once we, we get, the, get the pieces in the puzzle. Alright? So get this written down. Try it on your own. Then turn me back on. Pause me, turn me back on, and see if you got it right. So get it written down right now. Don't just watch me do it. So pause once you get it written down. Alright? I'm out of the way. All right, here we go. We're gonna try it. If you don't have it done, pause it, get it done. But here we go. So all we're gonna do is puzzle math, put the pieces in the puzzle. Wherever we have an A, we're gonna put a two. If I would read this, like, like I'm reading a sentence in a book, it's three times A plus B divided by A minus three times B. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do three, this is not a very good, Marker, let's go here. Three, a little better, times A, and A's are two. So three times two plus negative four. All right? Divided by two, so every A is a two, minus three times B. What B is negative four? Three times negative four. All right. Kind of looks ugly, and it is ugly, but when we break it down, it's not going to be, all right? So basically, if you ever have uh, a problem here, and then a divided by, and a problem here, put, your, put something over this one and just worry about the top. Do one at a time, okay? Just do one at a time. So if we do that, not worry about this guy at all, we have 3 times 2, and then we have a plus a negative 4. So 3 times 2, I'm going to do it up here. This is 6. And then we bring up plus the negative 4. 6 plus negative 4 turns into 2. So we got a 2 on top. 2 on top. Make sure that's still on camera. Yeah, it's on camera. All right, so we're done with the top. Now let's go to the bottom. we got subtraction and multiplication. Let's do this first, right? Do the multiplication first. Positive 3 times a negative 4 is negative 12. Then we have to do 2 minus negative 12. Well, we don't subtract, right? We do KCC. This turns into 2 plus 12. Well, 2 plus 12 is 14. Our answer is 2 fourteenths. And if you wanted to reduce it or simplify it, 2 goes into 2 one time, goes into 14 seven times. I would take either answer because I didn't ask you to simplify it. But those are the same number, right? If you had a pie and cut it into 14 pieces and had two of them, you'd have that much. If you got a same pie and you only cut it into seven pieces and you had one piece, you'd have the same piece, right? It'd be the same size. All right, any questions? No, because you can't ask a question. All right, do your practice. Bye.